Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 7 of the year 2021, naming the Transportation and Telecommunications Minister Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed as the minister responsible for the affairs of the Labour Fund Timkin. His Majesty the King also issued Law 1 of the year 2021, approving the accession of the Kingdom to the Multilateral Competent Authority Agreement on the Exchange of Country by Country Report signed in Manama in December of 2019. His Majesty also issued Law 2 of the year 2021, ratifying the agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Swiss Federal Union regarding the elimination of double taxation in relation to income and capital taxes, the prevention of evasion and tax avoidance, and the protocol attached thereto, which were signed in November of 2019. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of thanks to the Indian President Ram Nath Kovind. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation for the President's keenness and interest to continue strengthening bilateral relations to achieve the aspirations of the two friendly countries and people, stressing that the historical and close friendship between the two countries is witnessing a continuous growth at all levels. His Majesty affirmed that the fruitful cooperation between the two friendly countries in particular with regard to confronting COVID-19 pandemic represents a new success in developing the existing cooperation. His Majesty valued in this regard the cooperation and coordination between the two countries, pointing out to India's efforts to secure Bahrain's receipt of a COVID shield vaccine, which His Majesty said is an evidence of the pioneering contributions of India in the field of pharmaceutical industries that it harnesses to support global efforts to confront this pandemic. His Majesty the King wished President Covid good health and happiness and the people of India for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 6 of the year 2021 regarding online sale for companies with foreign capital. The Edict outlines that companies that are fully or partially owned with non-Bahraini partners are allowed to sell its products online considering the investment capital is no less than 50,000 Bahraini dinars in the first year. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 7 of the year 2021, amending the provisions of Edict 50 of the year 2015 on establishing and forming frequent Frequency Spectrum Strategic Coordination Committee. The amendments include forming the committee led by the chairman of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority Board and membership of representatives from several relevant authorities. This committee will be in charge of preparing and managing the national plan for frequencies and comprehensive coordination for frequencies in Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain today received its first batch of the Covishield AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine manufactured in India by the Serum Institute of India under the name Covishield. The vaccine will be available to all citizens and residents and distributed equitably to support the national vaccination action efforts. Commenting on the arrival of the vaccine, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, thanked the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, and the Indian government for working with the Kingdom to secure its delivery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister welcomed the strong partnership enjoyed between the Kingdom of Bahrain and India. His Royal Highness concluded by extending his gratitude to India for their continued cooperation, which has served the interests of both countries and their people, and once again urged all citizens and residents who have not yet received the vaccination to register for the benefit of themselves, their families and community. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chief Executive Officer of Abu Dhabi based Group 42, Dr. Ping Ziao at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of doubling efforts to combat COVID-19 and further international cooperation to successfully eradicate the virus. He highlighted the Kingdom's comprehensive COVID-19 response in order to safeguard the health of the Kingdom's community. His Royal Highness extended his gratitude for the efforts of the UAE combating COVID-19, praising the success of the clinical trials. He added that the Kingdom's cooperation with the UAE and China in the clinical trials have successfully led to an approval of a vaccine, a great humanitarian step. His Royal Highness commended the Kingdom's cooperation with the UAE, noting the depth of the bilateral relations between the two countries across various fields. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthen precautionary measures through a united national response, emphasizing the importance of vaccinations on safeguarding an individual, their family and their community. For his part, Dr. Ping Ziao expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, praising his unwavering commitment to combat COVID-19. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, was also present.
Upon the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of Brief President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the seventh local Arabian horse show and first horses of Egyptian breed championship were held at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasr affirmed that the horse race beauty championship reflects Bahrain's status in the equestrian sports and the support it receives from His Majesty King. Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, as it represents a large incentive for all participants in reflecting the development of the sport. His Highness stated that holding the seventh edition of the championship affirms its status and development in light of the Federation's keenness on providing the optimal environment for all participants, which contributed to achieving continuous successes. He added that the championship is one of the most important events that the Federation organizes and receives considerable attention from equestrian sport enthusiasts. His Highness Sheikh Nasr expressed his pleasure in the wide participation in the championship on his first day, expressing admirations for the participation of the best horses from various classes, as well as the best owners, breeders, clits owners, and all the sports enthusiasts. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed his appreciation for the unlimited support of His Highness Sheikh Nasr to the Federation. He stated that the championship reflects the development of Bahraini horse breeding capabilities. His Highness honored uh, the winners of the championship, which had witnessed fierce competition. <coughs> The president of Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of the year 2021, reorganizing the High Committee with His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa as vice president and three-year membership of His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Naif bin Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Under Secretary for Finance at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Under Secretary for Works at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Mr. Ali Habib Qasim, Mr. Tahir Tawfiq Al Alawi, Dr. Ramzan Abdullah Al Naimi. The term of their membership is three years. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Azainal, chaired the Council's first extraordinary session. The Council discussed the reports of the uh, Parliamentary Committee concerning draft laws relating to the law on the, to the on exercising of political rights, the law on the issuance of letters and electronic transactions and the penal code, as well as the social insurance draft law. The Council also discussed proposals concerning amending some provisions of the Civil Services Law and the Future Generations Reserve. The Representatives Council also approved the proposals of the Parliamentary Committee and referred them to the government. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister operations commenced today at the new passenger terminal. As part of the Bahrain International Airport expansion project, the expansion project comes within the framework of large developmental projects the government works to implement and one of the essential economic pillars that aim to affirm the pioneering and historical position of Bahrain in the aviation sector. This project will also enhance Bahrain's status as a regional center connecting a number of destinations around the world and will contributing creating more qualitative opportunities to citizens as the airport is an important edifice that supports the logistics sector as one of the priority economic sectors. The airport expansion project is considered one of the largest national development projects and the most important in the air transport sector for more than 20 years. His Majesty the King continues to provide support to all developmental projects that serve the nation and people. His support for aviation and infrastructure development played a great role in today's achievement. More in this report. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has always been keen on making Bahrain a pioneer in the aviation field considering its strategic location, which shines through hosting various events including Bahrain International Air Show. His Majesty the King has always expressed thanks and appreciation for all efforts that have been exerted to make Bahrain International Air Show an important mark on the map, which brings together leading companies in the field to exchange expertise and strike deals. كما نثمن الجهود المستمرة بتطوير قطاع النقل والمواصلات 
الذي يشهد بدورة تنفيذ عدد من المشاريع ومنها توسعة مطار البحرين الدولي والبدء الرسمي للدراسات التنفيذية لإنشاء جسر الملك حمد وذلك في إطار المشاريع الاستراتيجية الداعمة للاقتصاد الوطني his Majesty the King has always confirmed that Bahrain is steadily moving towards making further achievements and developmental gains as a result of the sincere efforts of the people of Bahrain. ويطيب لنا في هذا السياق أن نشد على يد الابن العزيز وولي عهدنا الأمين صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة فيما يبادر به من خطط استشرافية وبرامج نوعية لاستدامة تدفق الاستثمارات الوطنية والخارجية التي تصب في اتجاه تنويع مصادر دخل الاقتصاد الوطني وتنميته بحسب ما حددت أهداف رؤية البحرين الاقتصادية 2030 with His Majesty's wise vision and support to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, today's achievement, which is the opening of the new passenger terminal, is a new source of pride for all Bahrainis. The opening of Bahrain International Airport's new terminal is an important step for the civil aviation field. The new building will serve millions of passengers coming to the kingdom or just passing through. Either way, they will enjoy Bahraini culture starting the minute they land at our landmark airport. The new Bahrain International Airport expansion has enhanced the kingdom's connectivity and further strengthened its position as an important hub in the region. Bahrain Duty Free has delivered a world-class shopping experience at the new facility, where it runs core category duty-free and airside specialty retail stores, including a vast area designated to products made by Bahraini families and entrepreneurs. The retail space is set around 4,800 square meters, significantly more than the previous 1,500 square meters. We are uh, transferring the operation of uh, Bahrain, Airport, uh, Bahrain International Airport from the old terminal to the new terminal. The, two ter the new terminal is uh, almost more than four uh, times bigger than the old terminal. Uh, it will accommodate more than 14 million passengers. We have utilized the latest technology in it. We are proud to complete the project in a, rem uh, in a recorded, let's say, time, uh, almost four years from inception to operation. We have started uh, construction uh, in April 2016. Uh, and I want to thank here all the entities who help us to uh, implement this project. The design of the airport itself is made to draw on people's gazes, especially in the unique assortment of Bahraini artistic works and architectural items. Airports are quite uh, interesting places. They are gateways. Uh, they receive and uh, pay farewell to millions of passengers every day. And for that reason, we have focused from day one on creating a character for the building. And what is best than bringing the heritage and art of Bahrain to those passengers who are not going to get the chance to see the country. So we have engaged on a number of fronts. We've worked with the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. We built two galleries, very beautiful galleries, one for uh, an, uh, artifacts from the museum and the other for arts. Uh, we have engaged with 10 uh, artists to produce 10 sculptures that are decorating the terminal. We have commissioned 15 artists to produce 45 paintings. Uh, we have displayed a huge uh, painting for Sheikh Rashid uh, uh, bin Khalifa and another uh, painting for the late Hussein Sunni. So the whole place is, uh, is full of uh, art and culture and I am confident that uh, our guests today will enjoy the experience. This is Sarah al -Brek reporting for Bahrain International. The continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the phases of vital projects is an example to be emulated in the development of the country. The beginning of the operations of the new passenger terminal is an affirmation that Team Bahrain is on the right path, guided by the vision of His Majesty the King and the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. More in this report. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain witnesses development in its infrastructure, stimulation in the diverse sectors, and support of vital and strategic projects to double the growth of the national economy. A new achievement is added to the Kingdom's rich record of achievements through the commencement of operations in the new passenger terminal with the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his direct supervision. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister said that teamwork always adds a special characteristic to the pace of achievement, which is embodied in all projects implemented by national cadres. His Royal Highness added that what has been achieved in the new passenger terminal will enhance Bahrain's status as a regional center connecting a number of destinations around the world and will contribute in creating more qualitative opportunities to citizens as it is an important edifice that supports the logistics sector as one of the priority economic sectors. The support and keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on projects that directly affect the country and citizens is reflected in all fields. His Royal Highness has proved his competence in leading Team Bahrain. Following His Royal Highness's inspection tour of Bahrain International Airport, His Royal Highness directed to begin the operations of the new passenger terminal, which falls on the 28th of January 2021. The Kingdom of Bahrain today witnesses a qualitative shift in the field of air transport, all thanks to the efforts of its citizens who continue to implement the visions of His Majesty the King and the directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Bahrain Airport Modernization Program, AMP, is considered one of the Kingdom's most important developmental projects that the government implemented. The project was completed in a record period of four years at a total cost of 1.1 billion U.S. dollars. The new passenger terminal marks a new chapter in the history of the rich aviation sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain, as it contributes to cementing Bahrain International Airport's position as one of the most prominent and modern airports in the Gulf region. This project came to light thanks to the one-team spirit of Team Bahrain, which the workers of this ambitious project have shown since the beginning of the project in April 2016, marking the dawn of a new era for the airport transportation sector in the Kingdom. The new airport consists of a number of accompanying facilities, including the new terminal building, a multi-story car park, a utility center, an aviation fuel field, a fire station, and an air cargo complex, with a vision that keeps pace with global travel and aviation trends and focuses on environmentally friendly designs and ensures luxury and safety, while employing the latest technologies in line with the best international aviation practices. The new passenger terminal is four times the size of the old building, and its design is characterized by an authentic Bahraini character and a distinct welcoming atmosphere. The airport modernization program will increase the airport's capacity to 14 million passengers annually, and it will provide an advanced and integrated travel experience that allows Bahrain International Airport visitors to enjoy the highest standards of luxury and distinction.
The commencement of operations at the passenger terminal marks a distinctive turning point in the aviation sector in Bahrain. The qualitative leap in the air transport sector has significant economic and investment outcomes for the interests of the national economy. More in this report. A new success is added to the series of the government's achievements by sending a positive message to the countries of the world on its excellence in managing its strategic economic projects in light of the pressure of the pandemic on the world country's general budgets. The new passenger terminal that is part of Bahrain International Airport Modernization Program represented a significant message that reflects the economic stimulus plans launched by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The AMP is one of the largest investments in the history of the aviation sector in the kingdom and it marks the dawn of a new era for the concept of air transport in Bahrain as it is one of the largest and most important national development projects in the aviation sector for over 20 years, with the volume of investments in the project reaching 1.1 billion U.S. dollars. During the coming months, private aviation services will be provided to businessmen and owners of private jets through the private aviation terminal, which will be a major driving force for the trade sector, especially in light of steady economic growth, and will support the growth of the tourism and travel sector for decades to come. The opening of the new passenger terminal is one of the most important foundations for the massive and comprehensive program to modernize Bahrain International Airport, which was specifically designed to upgrade the airport's strategic position, stimulate economic growth, and attract investments. This is in line with the objectives of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, which aims to lay the foundations for a more sustainable and diversified economy by diversifying sources of income. The new passenger terminal extends over an area of 210,000 square meters, equivalent to four times the current building, and will contribute to doubling the airport's capacity to reach 14 million passengers annually. The government team has concluded its joint meeting with the Financial and Economic Affairs Committees on the Shura and Representatives Councils as part of the coordination efforts to discuss the draft general budget for the two fiscal years 2021 till 2022. The government team included the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, and the Minister of the Shura and Representatives Councils Affairs, Ghanem Al Bouainin. The meeting was held remotely with representatives from the two councils meetings committees where the esteemed budget of the works ministry was discussed the most vital projects that the works ministry is planning to implement which are to be included in the general budget of the fiscal year 2021 2022 were discussed the government team emphasized the importance of joint efforts alongside the legislative authority in order to approve the upcoming fiscal year's draft budget in light of the exceptional circumstances imposed by the global spread of the coronavirus the Ministry of Health, Faiqa Salah, chaired today the Extraordinary Gulf Cooperation Council Health Minister's meeting, which was held virtually with participation of the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Naif al hadraf the, uh, the meeting expressed thanks and appreciation to their majesties and highnesses, leaders of the GCC countries, on the success of the 41st session of the Supreme Council, Sultan Qaboos Sheikh and Sheikh Sabah Summit. The meeting also discussed the developments of providing health services to their people, in addition to precautions to stop the spread of COVID-19. The meeting concluded by agreeing on unifying stances and further developing regional and international cooperation in the health sector.